Welcome to the vlog, everybody. It's kind of a recap slash update vlog today. I uh, I was in Kansas City, as you saw at the beginning there. You saw the part of the Chiefs game. And I had this crazy, crazy day. It was an all day affair and it was for work. I know it seems like it was for fun or it looked like a bachelor party or something, but it was actually for fun. And we took customers out. We took some work colleagues out and we just did a lot of team building, training, just building those relationships, trying to get camaraderie between us and, and our customers and have some fun while we did it. In the last vlog, I mentioned how we were going hatchet throwing and it turned out to be actually ax throwing, they called it. Uh, they were bigger than hatchets and you had to use two hands. They made you use two hands. You couldn't just throw it like that. Um, never had been to a place like that before. Another shout out to Aaron Buey. And Aaron, this, this footage is, is for your wife. Um, I know she's been anxiously <laughs> awaiting this vlog. So um, this is for Mrs. Buley. Here is us at the, uh, I think it was called the Wooden Timber or something like that. But um, very cool place, very cool place. You just kind of lined up through some practice tosses. And uh, yeah, here's some footage from the, uh, from the ax throwing. Now the guy with the hat on, he's a very good friend and colleague of mine. That was him throwing, kind of warming up. Um, and then if you saw my Twitter, I actually tweeted out me throwing it and I'll just, kind of proud of it, so I'll throw it in there again. But uh, here's here's a, a vertical video of me throwing. I obviously didn't take the video, so it's got the, it's, it's vertical. So here you go. <laughs> Six points, I I actually, we had a blast doing it. I didn't know what to expect going into it and if you ever get the chance to do it, do it because it's just it's just fun. It, no matter what skill level you are or anything like that, it doesn't matter, you can be a newbie, you can be a lumberjack and it's still a good time. It's like bowling meets darts and it's just, there's all these games they bring in and you can, you know, to keep score and things like that. So it's just a lot of fun. It was a good time with the uh, customers and everyone really, really enjoyed it. The following day, we actually rented out this limo bus thing and well, here it is. He just wants the bottle. <laughs> I'm not carrying him. <laughs> in total we had about 18 20 people and this bus it, it picked us up at the hotel at about 9 9 30 in the morning we went on a brewery tour we went over to the stockyard brewing company in kansas city we got we got a whole history of the stockyards there and everything and just a really cool bar and tasting room customers really enjoyed it here's here's just what it looked like a little bit I know. <laughs> then from there we went to this barbecue joint called Q39 and I had some of the most fabulous barbecue I've ever had in my life. I thought I knew my favorite place in Kansas City but it has to be my new favorite place. It, it was just, I can't even describe it. Like I can't even choose words to start to describe how good it was. Um, it, it's something you just have to experience. Q39, unbelievable. After the barbecue, we actually went to a distillery where they make whiskey and gin and vodka and all these different things. And we got a full tour, Jay Riger, Riger, Riser? Jay Riger, I think it is. I think it's Riger. Very cool place, very gracious hosts, and really showed us the entire process, like from how they start to how they finish and how it gets in a barrel and yeah, information about barrels that I had no idea about. For example, I knew that bourbons and scotches and all that stuff, they get their flavor from the wood over time and everything, but I didn't realize how much temperature played a part in that. They try to store them in places that have seasons so that in the summertime it can soak in when, it ex when the barrel expands, and then the wintertime when it contracts, it squeezes all that alcohol back into the barrel and kind of keeps flavoring it throughout the years. The distillery was amazing. Here's a quick B-roll sequence from Jay Riger Distillery. We 
wrapped up at the distillery and we all boarded the bus once again and we went to Arrowhead Stadium, which is the home of the Kansas City Chiefs. They were playing the Los Angeles Chargers and it was a it was a Thursday night football game, so very hyped up game. Everybody was really, really pumped for this game. I'm I just like going. I'm not I wasn't partial to one or the other. Obviously, I had a lot of people there that loved the Chiefs, so I was kind of rooting for the Chiefs. But I'm not like a hardcore sports person. I like the experience. I, it was fun to go to. I don't follow it enough to like get heartbroken and as people know, it's pretty it was a pretty heartbroken loss. <laughs> I mean, they lost right at the end there. But the experience was amazing. We tailgated. The rain held out, so we didn't get wet. It was very, very cold. It was low 30s. We all changed into multiple layers of clothes. We were super warm. I looked like I was ready to go skiing. <laughs> Basically, I had wind pants on, snow pants, the jacket, the whole thing. We had great seats. It was a great time. Here's a few, here's a few shots of the game that I took on my phone. Game got out, we got back to the hotel around, it was like 12 30, 1 o'clock. It was, it was fairly late by the time the bus pulled back in. I just packed up, got everything ready for the morning, went to bed. I, I got a good night's sleep really fast, and then I woke up, got in the car, and I drove as fast as I could safely back to Iowa City because Natalie actually had her Christmas program, and I made it back in time for the Christmas program. It was awesome. She did, <laughs> she did so good. Her personality cracks me up because she's a lot like I was when I was a kid. Whenever you picture the Christmas program, so you got rows of kids, there's always that one kid, there's one kid that does nothing, and then there's one kid that always is over the top, super loud. Everyone's just kind of laughing because of how loud they are and everything. That was Natalie. <laughs> she decided to be as loud as she could be and just took over. Here's a little footage of Natalie at her Christmas concert and it was, it was hilarious. <laughs> That's kind of where I've been. That's kind of the update. And it's it's just been a whirlwind between that and then I've had work stuff as far as you know office style stuff in between and just the girls have birthday parties this weekend to go to. It's just been pretty chaotic. So the vlog kind of suffered this past week. At this point, it's kind of caught up. Tomorrow's vlog, I'm gonna go through and talk about my plans for 2019 and the rest of the year. Just kind of the future of the vlog and just what it's gonna be and where I'm, where I'm at with it. Also, there will be one more journey vlog this year and then I'm home. I have to do one quick trip to Nebraska this week and that I'm home for the rest of the year, which I'm, I, I love my customers. I love being out there. I love what I do, but at the same time, it's gonna be awesome to just have a, a chunk of time being home and Maureen's parents are coming and my parents are coming and it's just gonna be a good time. That's it for the vlog today. Nothing too crazy, just kind of a recap of the craziness and the chaos that's been going on and um, I feel a lot better. Thank you to all the people that reached out and said, are you okay, are you okay? Um, feeling good, bumping everything, doing much better. Gave me some, some cream and some stuff and everything checked out. Still have a couple little tests we're gonna do just to see what I can do about getting some more energy and getting better sleep. Um, they think I might have sleep apnea, so I have to do a sleep test and all these things, but I'm just ready. I'm so ready to, to get over this stuff, figure it out, and 
once you know what the issue is or, or why you feel the way you do, you can take those steps, come up with a game plan and just feel so much better. But yeah, I know those last few vlogs I looked rough and I felt the way I looked. So I feel a lot better. I got some rest, haircut, just I, I do. I feel much, much better right now. So thank you again to everybody for the, uh, the kind words and the concern. And uh, I truly appreciate you hanging in there with me. I'm gonna close the vlog off there and I will see you tomorrow. Oh, <laughs>